But I feel like this movement in particular is a direct response to having anxiety about women having something to say. I think, I think it's fair to say that there's something oppositional here. This is to answer John's question. It's not just about saying that men need more attention paid to their mental health issues or men need more attention paid to the challenges that boys have in our education system. It's the fact that women are the problem, that Wait women's equality is an Adam. issue, and that the, directing these men's issues as some kind of response, as women cannot gain because then men lose, yeah. that's what I think is Adam, intellectually are, disingenuous. Are you telling me that a campus group has been created that's oppositional in nature? <laughs> that students are oppositional? Positional in nature that they're actually being militant and feisty and that they're going against established ideology That's a scandal because when I went to school all of the groups conformed entirely to the dominant ideology okay. So I think you've identified a real no, scandal no, here that now you're making a strong man argument. I'm no, not I'm saying not, that these because groups everything be... you've said is ridiculous no, because the... that, that that lawyer and that woman don't understand sarcasm he, oh, he just done a uh, construct a straw man. He isn't. He's being sarcastic, you fucking idiot. What? Unbelievable. What the? What is wrong? Like, what is wrong with these young people today? It's. Uh, you know, I get when I talk to some young women about issues. You know, it's always black and white. It's always on or off. It's always yes or no. It's always positive or negative, and it's all. It's just a binary world. There's no nuance. There's no. There's no spectrum of, you know, you take, I take one point of view, you take another point of view, somewhere on the spectrum between the two, the answer can be found. But it doesn't work like that with the young people today. It's just black and white. It's just on or off. It's digital. It's a bizarre way of living. The idea that the an very oppositional thing, group should be banned is just entirely the very first, to say. But, okay, but You're the very first, no, John, the very first thing I said was that these groups should not be banned. You precisely Actually, no, what no, I said. but you said I they should said, not be recognized by student societies, well, which I means think, they don't get funded, and they cannot have events on campus. So they have a right to so, funding No, but you're them. saying so you that they should effectively be ostracized. To let any group that forms get whatever money they want Obviously, from the student government. Obviously, you're not going to let a hate group in. This is a legitimate policy issue, and you're saying, no, don't let them have events on campus. Don't let them have funding. So you should get to decide what the Ryerson student government I'm saying Liars they should be treated students. fair play. And you're so saying think, they don't get fair I think, play. I think one of the other things that frustrates me about the men's rights movement uh, is that it's often a lot of straight white men talking to other straight white men about the issues that straight white well, men are having. Well, let's ban that. Let's ban that. Let me get the a, thought a out. Thing. Okay. And I think it ignores a lot of other issues that, can actually, that are actually totally valid within what's going on with men. I mean, like, for example, like, they don't talk about how racialized men have different experiences than white men. They don't talk about trans men. They're not talking about queer men at all. They're talking about the most privileged class of men that they're... What a load of crap that woman just spouted. It's men's rights. We're not concerned with gender genders or... Well, there's only one gender, isn't it? It's men. Uh, now, colour of their skin, sexual orientation, they're affected... Their rights are affected in the same way. So they are all under the umbrella of men when it comes to men's rights. And this idea that it's straight white men. And the, well, sweetheart, the majority of men in the Western world are straight and white. So obviously straight white men are going to have something to say. Get over it. What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. What are you, a straight white woman probably? Who knows? Who, who fucking cares? It's whether or not your idea has any validity. And so far, every idea that this woman's put forward is invalid. It has no validity. She's a fucking clown. <laughs> hey, we need our own group too, okay? I know, you're, you're long <laughs> So you don't see any of this, John, as being a backlash, like a nasty backlash against women Actually, on getting this, ahead? I'm going to agree with the other panelists. There obviously is an element of backlash. There's a culture war out there. And there are people who feel tribalistic on both sides. They say, you know, it's feminism versus the opposite of feminism. It's men versus women. Obviously, and especially... What's the opposite of feminism? Well, I was trying to figure out... <laughs> it it doesn't... Go... Well, well, the lawyers actually finally got something right. The opposite of feminism. What's the opposite of feminism? Misogyny. Yep. You have to agree with that. So miso misogyny is the hatred of women. Right? And that's the opposite of feminism. Therefore, feminism is the hatred of men. Right? That makes sense. Now, 
Hatred of women, I'm going to stress, is not part of MGTOW. MGTOW don't hate women. MGTOW are not anti-feminist. I'm just putting that out there just so that there's no confusion. Okay, MGTOW are totally indifferent to women. And as far as feminism goes, women can have it as much as they like. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Go for your lives. Leave the MGTOW out of it. We're not part of the feminism. Okay, we don't want any part of it. We don't want any part of women in our lives. So feminism, obviously, being about women. That's where the feminine comes from. All right, that, that's all about women. So you enjoy it yourselves, amongst yourselves. Leave us out of it. It, do, it, it doesn't sound, masculinism doesn't sound right. The point is, obviously, when you're a student, it's a time when you're oppositional. You pick sides, you're tribalistic about your ideology, and a lot of these groups are expressions of that. I gotta it's wrap not up. a bad thing, it's part of campus I mean, life. There's a difference between having your viewpoint heard and demanding that others listen to you as a matter of right. That's where I disagree with you. Gotta wrap up. Well, I don't know, is that lawyer talking about feminism there? Because he's, he's right if he is. So there's a difference between... Uh, having a point of view and demanding that people listen to that point of view, which is what feminism is, of course. All right? Feminism demands that uh, it's the only point of view that's, that's, uh, that's valid. Like it's, it's the only valid point of view, feminism. That's, that's their demand. Uh, and they seek to shut the voices of men down. Uh, and, and they're successful at it. Uh, you know, all these uh, MGTOW YouTubes, uh, channels, they all get shut down eventually, uh, even if they've got really good things to say, like um, Hammerhand you know, like you go and see some of his stuff he's uh, absolutely on the money, MGTOW monk uh, he's um, he knows exactly what he's talking about uh, he lives the life, you know, he lives the highly disciplined MGTOW monk life Um and of course that gives him plenty of time to think and he's a, he's a very deep thinker so if you've got a bit of time on your hands go and uh, view some of his, uh, his long format videos um, fascinating stuff so uh, yeah on, on that note I think I'll uh, I don't, I'll, I'll leave it for, the, for today 30 seconds but Sachi 20 years ago, it was women's rights, hear me roar, now men's groups are trying to... Where, where, where is this going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sad about it. By the way, my side, so the, my side is losing the culture war. We just want to go out with a you're little not, bit of dignity. You're not losing the I culture am. war. We all no, know I'm losing not. the culture you're war. No, you were still part of the most privileged class in North yeah. America. I don't know where you're getting that, but Thank you're you. losing, you, yeah. you're losing out, anything. Look, look at who sits you're on corporate nothing. boards. I feel, look who dominates the profession. I feel so in our every politics. industry, you're here. You're sitting here. I feel so empowered right now. I know you too. Well, everybody's happy once again. Thank you very much. I don't know if I learned anything, but it was... It was fascinating. Yeah, Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks nice to me. see you again, Adam. Thank you. And Sachi. And John. Go. <laughs> I still haven't stopped laughing, but, but the presenter at the end there, thanking them all for their, uh, you know, the, she asked the woman, a woman on the panel, you know, well, where do we go from here? No, oh, I don't know. Yeah, what, <laughs> you know. Like, well, what the fuck are you doing on the panel then? Uh, but at the end of the clip, she says, uh, you know, I don't think I've learned anything. Well... If you'd let the gentleman who's asking for the men's rights groups to actually speak on the topics that you brought up regarding men's rights, maybe you would have learnt something. But this wasn't about learning anything, was it? This was just about shutting the male voice down just because feminism is the real answer to all of the woes of the world. Blah-dee-blah-dee-blah-blah-blah-blah.